Hey there, Camera Obscure here, continuing Link to the Past. Oh god, he's coming after me, he's coming after me. We're in, we're in Thieves Town. It's basically Kakariko. Hey, 300 rupees, holy balls. I thought we were done finding 300 rupee things. But yeah, we're in, we're in town. <laughs> Good lord. Um, we're just gonna take out some of these vanilla checks here. While we can. And then we'll go into Skull Woods. Some of this stuff's gonna be a right pain in the ass, so I'm glad we found those rupees. Because we have the digging game. Another 300 rupees, holy shit. We have the digging game, which I guess we'll just take out right now. And then the chest game. Which in the randomizer, like, you're guaranteed to get the item. But... Not so... Oh, shite. Um, alright, well the digging game is possible. Hold on, actually no, we'll do the chess game first. Because I don't have Titans mean yet, so once I jump down there... I'm gonna have to save and quit to the sanctuary to get back over here. Which is fine, because I can cut that out, but just for my own convenience... We'll just do the chest game first. But like in the randomizer, you just pay the money, you open two chests, and you get your prize. Here in vanilla, like, it's a legitimate... Like, it's a gamble. Yeah, we'll play. Alright, let's see what we got. 50 rupees. And 100 rupees, okay. Alright, you only get to open two chests. One of them has a piece of heart. So now that you've seen how it works, we'll just cut to inevitable victory, I suppose. There we go, we got it! We got it. Didn't take long, and we have a butt-ton of rupees now. And... And... We got a full heart container there. So now we can go to the digging game... Without much trouble. Actually, no, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna go to the sanctuary first. Cause there's a check over there. Let's just grab all the stuff we can. The most convenient things to grab before we leave C Throat Clearing Village. Because... <laughs> Good grief. It's just, it's such a pain in the butt. Saving and quitting and whatnot. So over here, there's a ledge we can get to. Let's see, you bonk these rocks. You get a bomb. I don't need the bomb. Climb these steps. And actually shoot. Hold on a second. While we're here, let's do this. No, 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 no. We'll do this first. Because we can also take care of, like, King's Tomb or whatever. But here we go. Just run in here. I think this is just another piece of heart. And here we can get some hearts. The other side has bombs. So use a bomb first, and then we'll pick up bombs. Cool, 40's the max. Whatever, there's a piece of heart. Huzzah. We have so many hearts, though. It's not even funny. It's not even funny! Damn, so aggressive. So here... Hit that. Hit that. Oh, it's just out of reach. Can I boomerang that? No. I'm sure I can't hookshot it either. The damn fence gets in the way. Anyways, use the mirror. I don't know, about there. We just need to make sure we have enough room to use the boots, which you should. Assuming we can get these things out of the way. Yeah, there we go. It's like you don't need Titan's Mitt to get this thing. And this is the cape. And this is, this is gonna open up a few more checks for us. So there we go. There we go. And actually, one of the checks we can get, like, right now with it. So why don't we do that? I forget what you get for it. It's probably just a piece of heart. But it's like the bumper cave or whatever is what it's called, and it's not too far from here. But again, like, just clear as much of this stuff out as you can while it's convenient. Before you go into the dungeons. Like, there's no rush. There's no rush to clear these dungeons. Let's just do what we can while we can do it. Oh man, these little pterodactyl things. Those things are relentless. They will not leave you alone, ever, until you leave the screen. That's really about it. Or you kill them, of course. Yeah, that's just a piece of heart. But we need to get it. We can't 100% the game without getting all the heart pieces. So, d d dude Don't bump him into me! Now, like, supposedly you're supposed to need the hookshot for this as well. 
But it is possible to scoot along that north wall without the hook shot. However, you do need the cape to get past the bumper, as you can see. And now we have a piece of heart. And just like that, we have two more pieces of heart. Ah, see the pterodactyls, they just they won't leave you alone, man. And they do a lot of damage, actually. You don't really want to mess around with those things. Oh god, it's a red guy. It's a red guy. I almost kind of want to do Skull Woods just because I'm right here, but... No, we'll, we'll take care of the digging game first. And then save and quit back into this area, I suppose. It's not a big deal. So, just jumped along down here. I want to make sure you're on this, like, second ledge. Because if you go all the way down, I don't know if you can get back up here. Actually, wait, no, you do have to go all the way down. Never mind, I'm a moron. Forget what I said. Now, here we go. This costs, like, 80 rupees, I think. 80 rupees. Yeah, we want to dig. And this is completely random. Like, in the randomizer... You know, like, after, like, 20 or so digs, it's just automatic. But here you go. Pick up any rupees you happen to dig. Because that'll just fund future attempts. And, I mean, this can get absolutely cruel. I mean... <laughs> You could play this a dozen times and not find a piece of heart. Because that's what we're going for, is a piece of heart. But I mean, just dig. Just dig. Eventually you'll find it. You know, you're going to keep uncovering rupees. No big deal. Alright, that's it. Time up. Game over. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you got to leave the screen? Bullshit. Alright, cut to inevitable victory once again. There it is! There it was! Yay, we found a piece of heart. Alright. Woohoo! It only took, that was actually only the second try. And thank goodness, because that can really be a huge pain in the ass to do. So, there we go. We're gonna have to save and quit, because I can't get back into the village without taking like the long, long way. So we'll just see you back here. All right, so we're back in <laughs> And there's just one more thing we gotta do here before we go take on Skull Woods. And this is something you'll definitely wanna do at this point in the game, because magic becomes important now. So if you haven't done it yet, I mean, you can do a lot of the stuff I've done in any order, but if you haven't done it before Skull Woods, now would be the time. You come in here, sprinkle some magic powder on this pot of whatever. I don't know, it kind of looks like Goatsy, to be honest. I mean, look at that, that's Goatsy. So sprinkle the magic powder on Goatsy, and this bat wakes up. And, you know, he says, like, ha-ha, your magic power will drop by one half. But no, what actually happens is your magic consumption drops by one half. So, thanks, Goatsy. I don't even know if Goatsy is still, like, a thing. I'm pretty sure the website got shut down, like, ten years ago. But, I mean, if you're as old as I am, you definitely know what Goatsy is. And I'm sorry for that, but I don't know if that meme still exists, like if the legend of it has lived on, but it's okay. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it is quite disturbing and gross. So let's just go to Skull Woods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that instead. So I don't know if this is my preferred method of entry into the area, but we'll just head this way. Skull Woods is kind of a broken mess of a dungeon, and that's just the way it is. So let's see, can I even get... No, I can't get there from here. So we gotta go this way. I normally approach Skull Woods from the eastern part of Hyrule area stuff. So this is kind of like uncharted territory for me. Yeah, two hearts of damage. She can't hit me twice! What the hell? Hold on, I see stuff over here. I don't like coming from this way. I have no idea. Dude, what? Go back to the pyramid, man. That's where you belong. Yeah, hold on. None of this is right. We gotta get here from the right area. Basically, like, the north end of town. Kind of where the, the fortune teller's hut is. That's how I like to access this area. And it turns out that you really can't do shit from the area that I accessed it. At least, it didn't look familiar to me. And it made me confused and angry. 
So let's just come into here and do it the right way. Or is it the right way? I don't know. I don't want to get cocky that way. But... I don't want to fall in that hole either. So I like to access this bit from this hole here. Kind of like... Kind of like in the light world. You got that stump. And you just come in here. And we're just going to open this up right away. Just to do it. Knock that guy down. Well, actually, no. We just took him out. So yeah, just sneak along the wall here. We're going to pull this lever. Now, we don't have the big key yet. So we can't really do anything there. But that's okay. It's at least open now. Oh, shoot. There's a barrier there. That's fine. So just do this. And now we get, uh, we get the map. I'm so used to getting, like, keys and stuff here, man. See, I'm telling you, like, doing this randomized all this time, it's really throwing me off. Shoot. There's not a key anywhere here. Crap. Usually by now you get a key, but that's okay. We can just drop down here. And I think this will put us in a new area. Yes. I don't know if this area is any more or less desirable, though. Please don't knock me into the hole. That idiot just bumpered himself into the pit. Yeah, okay, now this is going to open up the floor big time. There's the compass. But that's okay. And now, yes, we end up in this room. Now we'll get a key here. However, the key we get from here is only good to get us out of this room. And I can't even, like, magic mirror my way out. So that's kind of a bummer. I could, like, even if I wall master out, like, it's just going to put me back in the room I fell into. So, yeah, hooray. We accomplished absolutely nothing. But that's all right. So let's see, where else can we go? That hole doesn't take us anywhere we need to be. Man, doing this not randomized is trickier, actually. So let's go in here instead. All right, yeah, this is better. This is better. However, we got to be careful because the wall master will grab us. These Gibdos have an absurd amount of health. If you have the fire rod, like, they're immune to the pots, even. Little skull pots. One fire rod blast takes them out. Which is pretty nice. But now, like, we have to drag this statue over here while avoiding the wall master. You really can't even, like, kill the wall master. I mean, you can, but it just comes back right away. So it doesn't do any good. It really doesn't. Like, I'm not lying. But here we go. Oh, avoid the trap. There's the big key. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty much... That's pretty much all we need, then. Because that gets us a fire rod. We can totally clear the rest of this out now. <laughs> Dang, so come here first, really. And in here, like, there's a locked door. That doesn't go anywhere. That's a, that's a complete waste of a room to visit. So from here, grab this key. But we gotta get out of here the way we came in. And we'll be back here, don't worry. But for now... For now, we're gonna leave this way. Now let's go back. Let's go back to where we needed to use the big key. And any guesses what we're gonna get? Well, if you've played this before, you'll know. I guess it's kind of pointless to guess, because if you've never played it, you might not even know what items are available. You wouldn't even know what to guess. Could be literally anything, as far as you know. So it's the fire rod. I'll just give it away. We're getting the fire rod. There we go. Sweet. And actually, now that we have the hook shot, the hook shot kills the, the little mini moldorms in one hit. But here, we'll get rid of these guys. Oh god. What? You can't. You can't grab me into the Gibdo. No, they're not immune to pots. I don't think they do much damage though. So here, check this out. We'll demonstrate it. Fire Rod Blast. One one hit, one kill. Gotta love it. So there's another key. And this just, just, this just takes us to this room. Remember that chest we opened and all the holes opened up? Yeah. So that just takes us there. So just Magic Mirror out of here. And we'll, uh, we'll go out the door over here and get back where we were when we got the big key. 
So I mean, it's not, it's not that confusing. It's really not. Even vanilla, even vanilla, it's not bad. It's a lot different. It's a lot different than what I'm used to playing randomized. But as you can see, it's still not that bad. The main thing is just avoid using your key in that door there. That goes nowhere. There's no reason to ever go into that room. You know, but from here... Dude, please. And I remember this when I, when I was little. I can't say little, I was like 12. Which is little compared to me now. But like, you know, my friend was stuck here. He's like, you he didn't know what to do. And I was like, hey, you got the fire rod. Like, just try using it on that thing. Like, it wouldn't give you the item. Right? You know, like... Uh. Yeah, see, we gotta go around here. Dude! Just hit me again, I don't care. The stupid maze that you can't even see. I was like, just use the fire rod. Like, it wouldn't give you it if you didn't need to use it, right? Because that's just how Zelda games worked back then. Dude, don't jump into the mummy! What the hell, man? So there's another key. I don't even know if we needed that key, to be honest, since I came in here with one already. Can I get some hearts? Shoot. All right. Because there's this, this bleh, there's this locked door. I don't know if there's any more that we need to worry about. But now this is like the most obnoxious part of probably this whole dungeon, just scooting around that room. Oh no, this is the most obnoxious part. However, we can just kill all these guys. I remember, I remember once I was playing this, I think it was randomized, and I was unbelievably, unbelievably intoxicated. And specifically this room, I was talking about what a pain in the ass is for these wall masters and whatnot, and trying to light these torches and stuff. And then the wall master grabbed me, oh, I was so mad. But it's like, that's kind of what I get. For, for playing in the state that I was in. Shoot, I was gonna say, ah! If you can hit the yellow anti-fairy before it starts moving, you'll get a fairy and can refill your health. You know what, forget it. Forget it, shoot, I only have three hearts though. Hot damn. This Gibdo has a key, but I already have a key, so I don't need to kill it. Well, let's just do it. I only have three hearts here. I might actually release my fairy. Let's do it, because I don't want a fairy revival. So let's just release the fairy. Hope I actually runs into me, please. And now we get to fight Mothula. We get to fight Mothula here. But with half magic, this won't be so bad. He's just, he's got the most obnoxious arena of any boss. Watch me take, like, no damage here now. No, I've definitely taken damage. I would have been a dead man a long time ago. Like, I'm playing careless because I know I have fairies. But basically, just blast him with the fire rod for a while. And he'll just die. No big deal. Shoot! There we go. There we go. Still no deaths. Still no fairy revivals. It doesn't matter. I'm just being careless, because I know I can. But there we go, Skull Woods is done for. Yeah, we're just doing about one dungeon per episode. I was kind of hoping it'd even be faster than this. Blah, 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 yes, we know all this. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person has an evil heart gets to Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Yes. Just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. <laughs> All right, we'll continue this next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.